Hi, everybody, and welcome to another segment of AstrologyAnswers.com's Weekly Forecast. My name is Terrence Gardino. The week begins on Monday, May the 29th. Through this week, we are approaching a full moon when everything comes to a head, a time of culmination. But let's start with Monday, the 29th. The moon will be void, of course, which I mention every week when the moon, which sets the public tone, is no longer making any aspects to other planets before changing signs. So the energy is flat. So when the moon is void, of course, which will be 2.46 a.m. Pacific time until 7.51 a.m. Pacific time, it's best to just stick with the routine, um, but not introduce any important new projects. At which point, 7.51 a.m. Pacific time, the moon enters into harmonious, cooperating, sociable Libra. And at that when it goes into Libra, the first two hours, it'll be at zero degrees of Libra in harmony with powerful Pluto, which is at zero degrees of Aquarius. So this morning, Pacific time, can be very favorable for doing a lot of research, digging deep into your psyche, for counseling. By 6 p.m., early evening Pacific time, the moon will be in harmony with ambitious Mars. So you might be very active getting ready for the next day's uh, work uh, projects. On Tuesday, there aren't any important planetary events, but the moon remains steady in Libra, seeking win-win situations, seeking harmony. On Wednesday, the 31st, the moon in Libra now also goes void, of course, but for a longer time, from 7.54 a.m. Pacific time to 4.45 p.m. Pacific time, at which point the moon goes into intense all-or-nothing Scorpio. Now, Again, with that moon in void, of course, and in Libra for most of the day, it's a good day for relaxation. Just continue uh, with the regular routine. But when that moon goes into Scorpio and the moon sets the public tone, it, it, there's a reaction that's more intense. It's more all or nothing. The Libra the reaction wants to be more peaceful. The Scorpio is more uh, intensified energies. And at 4.45 p.m. Pacific time, when the moon, it will enter zero degrees of Scorpio, it's going to be forming a 90 degree angle of conflict to powerful Pluto at zero degrees of Aquarius. So as the moon goes into Scorpio, you can, for those next hour or two, you can expect some really intense emotional reactions. On Thursday, June the 1st, in around six, around five, six a.m., maybe up to seven a.m. Pacific time, that intense all or nothing compulsive Scorpio moon will be in a stressful angle to impatient Mars, um, but stabilizing with Saturn. So there could be a lot of activity as you wake up and you start the day. Um, but that Scorpio can be relentless um, to achieve its goal. So there's a lot of work activity um, that first part of the day, June the 1st. June the 2nd, now the moon continues in Scorpio, but by around 6 p.m. Pacific time, it's going to be in harmony with Venus social Venus, cooperative Venus, and healing inspirational Neptune. But also, the Venus will be in harmony with Neptune for the whole day. 
which can be a day of romance, falling in love, and uh, triggering a lot of creative inspiration, and especially as we go into the early evening. But then the moon goes void, of course, 5.52 p.m. Pacific time until 10.04 uh, p.m. Um, Pacific time, at which point the moon leaves all of that passionate, intensified Scorpio energy, excellent with that loving, creative Venus, but then goes into Sagittarius for the rest of the weekend. Sagittarius is adventurous, it's honest, it's playful. Scorpio can be more withdrawn, more secretive, more introspective. Sagittarius just wants to have fun and games and travel and, uh, and really be more upbeat. Perfect for the weekend and on Saturday the 3rd, that moon in Sagittarius will end up becoming a full moon. So when a lot of things that might have been hidden or unresolved all starts coming to a head, with the full moon in Sagittarius, it's going to be a lot of enthusiasm to play for sports, for romance. It's very outgoing, dynamic energies. It's going to be a great weekend. And on Sunday the 4th, as the moon continues in adventurous Sagittarius, Discerning communication Mercury will align with innovative in, uh, Uranus. Mercury Uranus could have be where you're having to make really sudden decisions. Uh, your, your, your nervous system, Mercury, may feel like it's plugged into an electric outlet. A lot of excitement, a lot of nervousness and agitation. It is excellent for original thinking, thinking out of the box, all new ideas, and you may be more inclined, more open um, to uh, learn or get be involved with um, technology, your website, uh, the internet. So I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you next week with my next segment. Until then, be safe and well.